This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, I'll be discussing several ways of selecting objects in Rhino. I'm going to begin by maximizing my top viewport. Now I'm going to draw a couple objects for selection. Curve, line, single line. The command line prompts me for the star of the line, so I'll left click, move the mouse, and left click again for the end of the line. You can repeat the previous command by simply right clicking, pressing the enter key, or the space bar. So I'm going to right click, you can see that it now prompts me for the start of the line and the end of the line. I'm going to go ahead and also draw a couple of spheres. Solid, sphere, center radius. I'm going to pick a spot for the center of the sphere, move the mouse, and click again. I'm going to repeat that command by right clicking, and now I can left click, center the sphere, click again. Now I have four objects on screen. Some ways of selecting these objects. To select an object, you can simply click on that object. The best way to select an object is to select on the wireframe of the object itself, if it's a solid. If it's a curve, you'll be selecting the curve. If you would like to select a different object, you can simply click on that object. By doing so, it will deselect the previous object and select the new object. If you would like to add to your selection, you can hold the shift key and continue clicking, selecting more objects. If you would like to subtract from the selection, simply hold the control key and click on the objects you would like to deselect. You may also select multiple objects at once. There are two methods for doing so. There's the window and the crossing selection method. If we start out on the left hand side of the objects and we click and hold the left mouse button and drag out a window, any objects that are completely inside of this box will be selected. I let go of the left mouse button and you can see that three objects have been selected. The bottom sphere was only partially inside of the box, hence it was not selected. To deselect objects, you can simply click anywhere in the screen where there are no other objects. If I start out from right and drag a box, holding down the left mouse button, and let go, you can see that it has selected all objects, even though the sphere at the bottom was only partially inside of the box. I'm going to go ahead and deselect. There are also other selection methods which can be used for selecting objects by their type. If you go to the Edit menu and go to Select Objects, you can see that there are several ways and methods of selecting multiple objects. All objects, no objects, you can invert your selection, previous, last created objects, etc. A lot of these methods are self-explanatory, so I'm not going to spend the time to discuss them in detail here. This concludes the different methods of selecting objects using the mouse and the keyboard.